Hey, I'm Connor. I'm here to interview Will from the Cat Empire. So recently you've released a new song, La Serene. Um, is there anything you can tell us about it? It's very French. Yep. <laughs> um, I read somewhere it's a dedication to your Quebec uh, fan base. Uh, can you... Um... Yeah, we have a very solid fan base over in Canada, and particularly the French region, Quebec. Yep. And they just, they go up and up a notch in terms of energy. It's amazing over there. So you go over there and a very loyal crowd, very energetic, so we you know, wanted to do something for them. Yeah. Um, so with this, obviously you're popular overseas and especially in Australia. Um, is there any reason that you believe you work so well together as a band and ultimately have the success? To be honest, I reckon, I reckon it's you guys. I reckon it's the fans. Like, because you know every band goes through ups and downs, and you know if if it's hard. If you're going through a hard moment, like you go on stage and you have a crowd that is pumped to see you and gives you energy, it just it completely changes your vibe and it, it makes you appreciate your music in another way. You know, knowing that you have fans on the other side of the world that love what you do. Um, so yeah, it's a mixture of that, and it's it's the just the particular personalities in the band. I think yep. um, there's a certain amount of luck of just that kind of relationship working and. Um, and our music, I think, it's quite eclectic, so it kind of gives everyone in the band um, enough room to kind of do what we want to do. It's not too constricting, you know, we don't have to play this style or that style. We can kind of go anywhere, and that's kind of really good for everyone, you know. Yeah. As the drummer, you'd be keeping the whole band together, wouldn't you, in time? <laughs> that's right. Yep. yep. That's yep. good. <laughs> um, with um, your new song, you've got a um, guest vocalist. Um, any one you would like to collaborate with in the future? It doesn't need to be vocalists, it could be on drums, it could be mm. on horns. What about in the past? Yeah, if you're your favourite. Would I go retrospective? Yep, go for it. Um, I've always thought, not so my favourite band, but I've always loved Rage Against the Machine. Yep. And I always thought, imagine getting up on stage with those guys yeah. and playing Bulls on Parade. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Be, as a drummer, like knowing you can just go as sick as you want, yeah. a band like that, oh my god, yeah, that'd be cool. Obviously, being a drummer, you'd love your drum solos. What's um, your favourite song to um, solo in? That's a good question. Um, it's kind of changed over the years. It used to be Sly for a while. At the moment, yeah. it's Daggers Drawn. Um, I don't know. It's I don't really like doing it in a particular song or not. It's kind of like Sometimes you're feeling it, sometimes you're not. It doesn't matter what the song is, so, you know, they ebb and flow. Like. On tour, who would you say is the most annoying to be around within the band? <laughs> oh, that's a big one. I don't want to say this to, you know, as a cop-out, but... This probably goes back to your question before about how we've, you know, played for so long and how it works. I think we all respect each other's space and actually you know, give each other some time to ourselves if we need it. I think if we toured for huge stretches of time and we're in each other's pockets all the time, annoying each other, then the band would have finished years yeah. ago. So I think everyone's actually really good at giving each other space and um, doing their own thing. And I think that's something you learn um, after being on the road for quite a while. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your tour. Thanks, Connor. And rolling, anytime you're ready. Oh, hang on, let me press record. Recordiato. Recordiato. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. All right. We're off.